So guys, assume that this is my A. It has the size of 2 times the 3. Now what I'm going to do is the multiplication of this A with a B having the same internal size, which is a 3 here, times any N. So guys, for sake of simplicity, I will take N is equal to 1. So guys, uh, let's say B is a 3 by 1. So let's take an example of B. 3 by 1 means a 3 rows, 1 columns. So let's say this is a column vector, basically. Minus 1, 0, 2. Let's say this is B. Now what is the answer of A times B? Basically, guys, A times B. So I know that A is a 2 by 3 matrix. times b, which should be 3 by any other number. Now here it is 3 by 1. So what you should know, guys, that c should be a 2 by 1 matrix. So as if you do the simplification of the internal matrix, it will vanish, and then the size of c will be 2 by 1. One, all right. So if A is M times P, then B will be P times any N, and then C will be this M times this N. Now, guys. Now, guys. How to find the C? Since C is 2 by 1, this means that C has 2 rows and 1 column. The first element of C, of course, should be C, 1, 1. And here the second element will be C, 2, 1. Okay, the second row, the first column. Now, what is nice, guys, is that you can know the answer of the C from the indices of the elements of C. So basically, guys, C11 is the... Listen, guys, listen carefully. C11 is the sum product of the first row of A with the first column of B. Okay? So C11 is the sum product of the first row of A with the first column of B. Which means, guys, it is 3 times minus 1 plus... 2 times 0 plus minus 1 times 2. So this is C11. So it is 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3, plus 0, minus 2. So minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. Now here my element is C21, which means it is the sum product of the second row of A with the first column of B. Alright? So it is 0 times minus 1 plus 1 times 0 plus 4 times 2. So 0 times minus 1 is 0 plus 1 times 0 is 0 plus 4 times 2 which is 8. So this is C. C is minus 5, A 2 by 1 matrix. So this is how you can do the product. Now this is a simple example where B has only one column. Now what if B has more than one column? Can I do the multiplication? Yes, of course, because I did not change three. I changed the number of columns of B. All right, so let's take the same example with one additional column for B. So now B is a three times two, which means N here is a three times two which means C here is a square matrix, basically, of 2 by 2. 2 by 2 means C has 2 rows, 2 columns. The first element is C11, of course. The second element here is C12. Now, the indices here are very important. This element is C21, and this element is C2. 
Now the first element is C11, which means it is the sum product of the first row with the first column. Right? So it is the same as earlier. It is 3 minus 1, which is minus 3, plus 0, and minus 2, which is minus 5. Now this one is the second row with the first element, which is basically 8. Now this one is the first row with the second column. Now here comes the second column. Right? So it is 3, 0, so it is 0 plus 2, plus 2, which is 4. Right? 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 times minus 1 is 2 also, so it is 4. Now C22 is the second row, the second column, so it is 0 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 times 1, which is 1, 1 plus 4 times minus 1, which is minus 4, so it is minus 3. So this is the matrix, minus 5, 4, 8, minus 3. It is the product of A times B. Guys, I want you to look at these two matrices. Can I do B times A? In this particular case, yes, I can. Because basically, B times A, they have the same internal matrices, which is internal dimension, which is 2. So B times A will give me a C, which is 3 times 2. Now, if I go back to the first example where B is a 3 times 1, can I do B times A? So B, let's say it is 3 times 1, and A is 2 times 3. Can I do B times A? No, I can't. Because in fact, I don't have the same internal dimension. So this multiplication is not valid, and you will see, guys, later on that if I do, if I want to do this multiplication on MATLAB, MATLAB will give me the error uh, telling me that they do not have the same internal dimensions. The last operation is the inverse, and let's do it. Okay, guys, first of all, if you want to say inverse of A, you should put on your mind that A should be a square matrix. Otherwise, I cannot find the inverse of A. So A, guys, should be a square matrix to find its inverse. This square matrix is written as A minus 1. All right? So if I'm going to find the inverse of A, the first requirement is that this A should be a square matrix. Now, if B is equal to this inverse, then B is also a square matrix. And this means, guys, B times A should be equal to I. Now, what is I, remember? In the type of matrices, I was the identity matrix. What is an identity matrix? An identity matrix is a matrix, is a square matrix, diagonal matrix, where all the diagonal side elements are equal to 1. And remember, the first identity matrix, which is A11, is equal to 1. The second identity matrix, so 2, 2, is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. And the third identity matrix, which is 3 times 3, is this one, and so on. So guys, this means that if B is the inverse of A, B times A is equal to A times B, which is also equal to the identity matrix that corresponds to the size of A. This means that if A is a 1 by 1, then I will be 1 by 1. If A and B are 2 by 2, then I will be a 2 by 2 identity matrix. Now, I want you guys to think about a very simple example of the inverse matrix. A very simple example is basically the inverse of a scalar matrix. A scalar number, like 5, has an inverse of what? Of 1 over 5. Because if I do the multiplication of 5 times 1 over 5, this will give me 1. And what is 1? 1 is the identity matrix I having the size of 1 by 1. So the first example of inverse is for the scalar numbers. In the case of scalar numbers, the inverse matrix will be 1 over this scalar number. So if it is, let's say, minus 1, then the inverse will be 1 over minus 1, which is also minus 1. Now, if it is 2, the inverse will be 1 over 2. If the product will give me the identity matrix of the same size of this A, which is 1 by 1. Now, guys, let's take 
The second example of inverse, which is when the matrix is a two by two. Basically, guys, you can find the inverse by hand for certain matrices uh, to, uh, to a size of three by three. After this size for four by four, five by five, it will be very complicated. And that's why we'll be using MATLAB. Now for you, I want, I want you guys only to learn how to do the inverse for a 2x2 two two matrix, okay? 3x3 three three will be done on MATLAB, all right? So how to do the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix and how to verify that this is its inverse. Let's take an example of A and remember it should be square and this is a very important note that will be also used in the third part of matrices, which is the simultaneous equations, all right? So A should be a square matrix, two by two. So I'm gonna take a very simple example, let's say minus one, zero, three, and two. And I'm gonna assume that B is the inverse of A. So B is equal to A minus one. And this should give me that B times A or A times B should be equal to I, which I? I, the identity matrix of a size 2 by 2, which is basically what? 1, 0, 0, 1. So how to find B? Basically, guys, the rule for a 2 by 2 inverse matrix is that B2 by 2 is equal to 1 over determinant of A and we will see how to find this determinant times you flip the diagonal side so 2 minus 1 and we put a minus sign for these two elements so 0 minus 3 so if it was 1 here, it should be minus 1, all right? But minus 0 is 0, basically. The determinant is very simple. It is found by doing the multiplication or the cross-multiplication of the elements. So it is minus 1 times 2, which is minus 2, minus the multiplication of 0 times the 3. So basically, guys, the determinant is this multiplication minus this multiplication, which is basically minus 2 minus 0, which is here, minus 2. So the determinant here is minus 2. So this is basically is minus 2. So I have a fraction here, 1 over minus 2 times this b, which is basically 2 over minus 2, minus 1, 0 over minus 2, 0, minus 3 over minus 2 is 3 over 2, minus 1 over minus 2 is 1 over 2. So as if the, determ the 1 over determinant is a scalar number and I'm multiplying it by b. So as we saw uh, um, uh, before, that you can do the multiplication of a scalar number with a matrix. And then this is b, minus 1, 0, 3 over 2, 1 over 2. How to make sure, guys, that this b is the inverse of a? I will multiply this b by a to see if the result will be this identity matrix. So minus 1, 0, 3, 2. Let's see. So of course, guys, 2 by 2 times 2 by 2 is a valid multiplication, and the answer will also be a 2 by 2. Now the first element is 1, 1, which means I should do the first row with the first column. So minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, plus 0 times 3 is also 1. So it is 1 plus 0, which is 1. Now this element is 1, 2, which means the first row, the second column. So it's obvious that this element will be 0. Minus 1 times 0 is 0, plus 0 times 2 is 0. Now this one here is 2, 1, which means the second row, the first column, so it is minus 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2, which is 0. Now this one here is 2, 2, which means second, second row, second column. So it is 0 
plus 2 over 2 which is 1 and it's very nice because this is basically r to 2. So b is the inverse of a if b times a is equal to i. Thank you.